Hello and welcome to our channel again. Thank you ever so much for joining us. It's a lovely, beautiful morning here in the UK. And this morning we're thinking about growing brassicas and protecting brassicas. Now many of us grow brassicas. Here we've got a collection of cabbage and calabrese and broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And I'm sure that lots of you have a lot of brassicas as well. But obviously one of the problems that we have is protecting the brassicas from the cabbage white butterflies, which can absolutely decimate our crops, unfortunately. And so this morning, what we're trying to do is to show you a really simple, cheap, but very effective way of protecting your brassicas from the dreaded cabbage whites. Now what we've got here in front of us is a very simple wooden cage construction with netting that draws over the top. We're going to show you a few stages in how we actually construct this. So we, at the moment then we're at the front of the cage and what I'm going to do I'm just showing you the wooden framework around and the netting that goes on top. And I'm actually going to draw the netting down to show you how we just fix it in place very very simply with some bricks. So we just pull the netting down, put some bricks in position to hold it in place along the bottom. And there you can see the front of our brassica cage. We're now going to go around the back and we're going to show you how we actually construct it. So we've now come around the back of our brassica tunnel, our brassica cage, and we're showing you just exactly how we've constructed it. Now, although we've got quite a big cage here, we do actually want to extend it by about a metre to get more crops in. So we are going to try to grow some more brassicas this year for reasons that we'll explain in due course. And so we want to make an extension to the cage. And so this actually shows how we construct it. So here we've got a very simple but effective wooden framework. Now this timber we actually had in stock from a previous project and so it hasn't really cost us anything. So it, it's very cheap, it's very efficient and everything. This is the framework. We're going to put it in position over there now. We're going to pull the cover over the top, the netting over the top. So we're now going to move it across. And Najee's going to have to help me actually move this framework across. Okay, we're very carefully taking it across into <laughs> position. Be careful. All right. Okay, so just drop it down there into position. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Okay. Nice. So we've put the framework into position then in the holes that we dug out. We just need to knock it in a little bit to get the level with the rest of the frame. That's it. Okay, I think that's more or less right. I'm now going to put the soil back into the holes. I'm going to compact the soil in around the posts. Okay, that will do for the moment. We'll have to just compact a little bit more later on. The next stage is to actually put on the tape. It's very important, we find, to put tape around the wooden framework. Otherwise, it damages the netting mm -hmm. when the netting is drawn over. 
So you can see all the way along here how there is tape. Now I'm just going to put some extra tape along the extension. So remember this is our DIY extension to our brassica cage. It's a bit sticky. The tape is extremely sticky and I've not done a very good job of cutting it. That's all right. Let's just put the tape into position over here. You want me to hold it? That's it. Nice. So that should really hopefully protect the netting when it goes over the top. When it's windy mm. and it's blowing about in the wind, it won't actually rub a hole into the net. The That's the, the theory anyway. <laughs> okay, so I've now finished putting the tape around the, the timber framework. We think it's important to do that because when there is a strong wind the netting can rub against the timber and if you haven't got it protected holes can develop. And remember our biggest investment is in this netting. When you buy uh, butterfly netting what you sometimes see advertised is actually very ineffective and the butterflies can get through. We really believe it's important to have a fine mesh netting like this which absolutely ensures the butterflies cannot get in. We've used this system for several years now and we've never had a single cabbage white butterfly get in. It is very very effective. The only problem we ever have is when we actually get the netting up to go into harvest then occasionally if we're not careful a, a butterfly might get in then but when the netting is down it's absolutely safe. So I'm going to now roll the netting down into place the system that we use for securing is just putting a few bricks along the bottom. We've got a ready supply of old bricks and so it's the most cheap and sensible way for us to do this. Obviously other people you may need to find a different way of doing it. But just bricks along there will secure it in place. When the cabbage white butterflies are about we put more bricks along to make sure it's absolutely secure. Now this is a very versatile system. If you wanted you could obviously make your cage higher. We prefer to keep it quite low like that. We're very windy here and we prefer to keep it in a nice sort of uh, height like that. But in theory it could be much higher so that maybe you could even stand up inside the cage. And as I said we've used this system for several years. We found it really effective. We've now got over a hundred brassicas in there in various stages of development. Some that are almost ready to harvest. Some that have only just recently been put in.